Oh, very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava from Network Nuts. So, hope you had a beautiful Diwali. We just celebrated Diwali yesterday on 11th of November. So, what's in this video after the Diwali celebrations? It's time to celebrate something about Ansible. Let's learn a very interesting thing, a, ve a very interesting playbook about Ansible. If you are a regular visitor and you are seeing the videos then I will highly recommend you to see the previous videos inside the Ansible playlist. So you will learn how to configure the Ansible, how to make one controller machine in my case which is Ansible-1. Here it is, will be my controller and I will be using the ansible to configure my ansible-2 machine which is my remote server so the setup is already being explained in the last videos or the previous videos in the else uh, in my ansible playlist so i would recommend you to go and check it out now here what i'm going to show you is how to configure a lvm using an ansible playbook right so i'll just show you the setup i have got these two machines available here and if I do a ping of ANS2, I'm able to ping ANS2 and from ANS2, which is my remote machine, if I ping ANS1, which is my controller, I'm able to communicate. That's great. Yeah. So here I have got a hard disk. I'll show you. This is the hard disk SDA, which, which stores my operating system is of around 16 GB. And I have got an additional hard disk connected for this particular lab, SDB, which is a very small size of 3 GB. So just to make things much more easier, let me focus on SDB. So this is the hard disk here, SDB of 3 GB. Let me create a partitions here. I hope uh, all of you know how to create the partitions. I'll be creating an extended one because I don't... Let me make it 4. perfect I do a right here so if I again do uh, F this you can see uh, extended partition is available now I need to create at least two uh, logical partitions here so I'll be again using the same command dev sdb n l for logical I will be creating a 1 GB size again one more partition of 1 GB size so I have got two partitions of 1 GB size fair enough so if I do a print here you can see there these two partitions are created but I need to convert it into the LVM so what I do T change the type 8E is the code and if you don't remember the code then it's very simple just press capital L and you can see there Linux LVM is 8E so just that's it change to LVM repeat it for number 5 8E yo that's great so if I do a print here you can see there the both the partitions are converted into LVMs now I just do a right here do a part probe so to make the changes persistent then if I do a fdes hyphen L dev SDB, you can see the hard disk is ready to have the LVM stored. That's great. So this is what you need to do on the remote machine. Obviously, we can also do it using some script that I will be telling you in next couple of videos, might be, but not right now. Here the focus is how to use the Ansible playbook to automatically create a volume here volume group here then a logical volume over it then format it and mount it using my remote machine or the controller machine so if i show you the status here vgs i have got only one volume which is created by at the time of installation here and lvs i have got two one is root another is swap right that's great so now i'll be going to my ans1 which is my epicenter for the ansible so let's create uh, these are the current 
playbooks uh, which I had been using in my last videos or, or I had already used in my last videos. So let's create uh, another playbook, give it any name, say logical volumes, just to make more sense. Right? Perfect. Then you know how to start the playbooks, that's great. Okay, not that much of tab, just give a hyphen here. Or the easiest way is if you wish you can copy the any previous one and then do the changes. But let's create it from the scratch. So here it is. So host, which host I'm going to apply and to because I have only one host here, right? Which user you want to use? To be used by the ansible to access the ansu which will be root by default ssh and the task here is my job task what task you want to do okay name say first thing because the partitions are already being created here so i'm going to create a vg so let me uh, give this name vg create or say volume group create or let me give it a very simple one vg create right okay what's the name What's the uh, the Ansible module that I'm going to run? LVG. LVG is the module which is used to create the LVMs, right? Okay. Then the name of the VG because it's going to create a VG. So let me give the name say VG data. Anything. Okay. If you are comfortable or familiar with the LVM uh, terminology, then you must be knowing that you have got at least two. You have got three things. PV physical volumes which is my HDF 5 and 6 on the remote machine already created then VG and then LV so which VGs will be participating here so I give SDB sorry 5 and it's a comma separated list keep on adding SDB 6 you can keep on adding more one but I don't have so I'm not adding it now okay so the VG will be created automatically using these two physical devices SDB 5 and SDB 6 which is already there let me show this which is already there already waiting for the Ansible to configure it right so I had specified these and the volume group name will be VG data now once the volume uh, is created then I need to create a LV so let me give this task the name of LV create and which module Alvol. Alvol is the module of Ansible which is used to create LVMs over the VG. Okay, so obviously when I am going to create a VG, oh sorry, a LV, so I should be specifying that which VG to use. So specify the same name, VG data. This name should be same or any any VG which is already existing here. Okay, the name of the LV, obviously uh, the, the name of the LV can be say LV data or I say KSA give data one anything and the size size is in MBs because my VG is of 2 GB so let me create a 1500 MB size of LV right okay now what next once the VG is created the LV is being created out of the chunk of 2 GB I have created or I, I intend to create a LV of 500 MB now once the LV is created I need to create a file system so I'll give this task a name create file system right and which module to use ah, file system file system is the name of the module and you have to be very careful about the intents the indents you have to be very careful Ansible is very specific about it very specific so FS type so if you're trying to create a, a, a file system you need to specify the file system type and which device you intend to partition so dev it will be vg data and data one i hope you all are familiar with this lv and vg terminology that's great once this is created what next i need to create a mount point so mount logical volume yo okay so which module to use mount module mount module of Ansible is used to mount a, a block device name the folder location say I give slash LV data anything anything and if this folder is not there so the mount will automatically create it right it's great 
very intelligent source which block device to mount so obviously dev vg data and data one the same device right okay and i need to make an entry in fs tab so the file system type should be ext4 and state should be mounted means the entry will automatically be made in fs tab and it will be automatically mounted by the ansible for you so this is these are the four tasks that i intend to create vg create lv create formatting the file system and then mounting it and with making the entry in the fs type for the persistent mounting so let me save and come out here and we'll show you first the current status here let me see here i have these two block devices i don't have any lvm with the name of data one i don't have any vg with the name of vg data so let's run this for now so ansible playbook and logical volumes dot lvm and i'm keeping my fingers crossed yeah oh my god my heartbeat is going talk 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 it's not like that sometimes i think i overact what do you say right the vg is being created that's great changed the lv is being created wonderful and now it's creating the file system for me that's great and then trying to mount it wow that's great the so five things are done so that means guys that means here if i give this command once again lvs i have this lvm automatically being created of 1.5 gb approximately and the vg is automatically being created and if i give a df-h it's being mounted also wow that's great so this is the power of ansible or amazing ansible you can say without any using any any client side tools or applications using the ssh we are able to create this so this is it a very small video for creating the uh, lvms and managing the lvms so i hope you had liked this video and uh, thank you very much for coming to us once again god bless take care i'll see you soon bye bye